The role of IPCC is to actually assess comprehensively and objectively the scientific, the technical, and the socioeconomic information related to understanding climate change, its impact, and options for adaptations and mitigations. So every five to seven years, IPCC releases a report, and this report is written by hundreds of scientists, which are coordinating lead authors and lead authors, and some of them are contributing authors. So the role of lead authors is to uh, actually as do the assessment, the actual assessment, the scientific information so related to changing climate. So I've been selected to be a lead author of the chapter 12, Climate Change Information for Regional Impact and Risk Assessment. It's very exciting to be part of those who actually write one of the most comprehensive scientific documents in history. It's very important for us, particularly for this assessment report 6, because we have tough negotiation ahead in terms of climate change. It's important for us as Africans to speak with our own voice. So many of my colleagues, they volunteer to actually lead the African section in their chapter, also lead in my chapter, the African section. A volcano is a, a conical mountain with an opening at the top, which is called a crater. Underneath, we have a chamber, which is called the magma chamber. So magma is very hot liquid or some liquid material at 1,000 and 200 degrees Celsius. So it's very hot. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. So imagine 1,000 and 200 degrees Celsius, how hot it is. This magma, at some point, it can make it to the mountain top and it's thrown out from uh, the volcano and the lava because when it touch the top of the mountain, it becomes lava. When this happens, then we're talking about volcanic eruptions and it resulting most of the time from explosion. So different mechanisms can explain a volcanic eruptions. One of them is that the gas underneath is under pressure, the magma chamber. At some point when it exceeds a certain threshold, this gas is released and this is released by decompression, which results in an explosion and then volcanic eruptions. Okay. So another uh, mechanism is that is uh, thermal contractions. So thermal contractions occur when water is in contact with the magma. It results in cooling or we call it chilling and then uh, volcanic eruptions can, can occur. Cold conditions, we have uh, uh, the risk of uh, volcanic eruptions is low. But in warm conditions where all these gaps and the uh, voids are, are released, are uh, actually open and then the pressure exerted at the top of the mountain by glaciers have been released because they, then the glaciers have been, uh, have been melted. So this can result in also uh, volcanic eruptions. So the climate change effect on the recent uh, volcano eruptions at Nyari Gongo has to be investigated because this is a very recent event. Climate change definitely has an impact on volcanic eruptions. So, some scientists have recently released a paper which uh, shows strong correlation between temperature and volcanic eruptions. Velconer released water vapor, carbon dioxide, but also sulfur dioxide, air salts, ashes, and all those kind of things. If you take carbon dioxide and water vapor, these are greenhouse gases, right? But then we have a lot of air salts, okay? And uh, when we talk about climate, also is in the long term, okay? So unless a lot of volcano eruptions happen, so one volcano or two doesn't have a long-term effect on climate change, right? So the immediate effect is on weather. You have these pollutions that cause health problem, and you have these air soils which are thrown out in the atmosphere will actually reflect most of the incoming solar radiation and causing cooling, right? So depending on how strong is this volcano eruptions, so we can have this effect lasting for six months, one or three years. So in terms of research, I think researchers, they need funding to be able to develop mathematical models to be able to predict volcanic eruptions. 
So, so that's what we need now. African scientists can play a great role. They can uh, take measurements, do the observations, work on the development of the mathematical models, predict the volcanic eruptions. And very important, you can also contribute to the testing of different action plans to minimize the effect of volcanic eruptions. Using uh, geoengineering solutions such as uh, artificial volcanic eruptions like putting uh, air holes at the, at the stratosphere, so it can be a good solution, yes.